Hello, it's me, Frankenstein. And I'm sorry, I can't do this. Uh, I'm not green. My name is not Frankenstein, okay? I'm Frankenstein's monster. Monsters think they know everything. Just because they had a blockbuster from the 1940s. <sighs> Thanks, monster, I got it from here. Horrified is a cooperative, set collecting, monster hunting, breath holding, pick up and deliver experience that casts you directly into the clutches of a classic 1930s horror flick. Each player starts by selecting a character differentiated by ability, number of actions, and starting location. You start the game with any combination of monsters. Guest appearances feature Frankenstein's monster, his lovely bride, Dracula, Mummy, Wolfman, Invisible Man, and Creature from the Black Lagoon. On your turn, you may spend your actions to move, pick up items, share items with another hero, work towards defeating a monster, perform your special action, or interact with villagers. Once villagers are delivered safely to their destinations, they reward you with a perk card to aid in your heroic ventures. Resources of the mind, body, and spirit are needed to win the game, but they can also be used as armor to soak up damage dealt by your petrifying opponents. Once the track four monster is completed, you usually spend resources to deliver a finishing blow, thereby removing them from the game. After each player's turn, a card is flipped, detailing a specific event to occur or introducing a villager onto the board. Then some of the creatures will activate depending on which symbols are present. If a flame appears, the monster with the frenzy token will trigger. When an attack is triggered, monsters can roll blanks, hits, or exclamation points, which triggers that monster's specific ability. When attacked, heroes can spend their items to defend themselves, whereas villagers are helpless. Play continues until the heroes manage to defeat their vile villains, terror overwhelms the town, or the final card is flipped from the monster deck. Notably, the art for this game is absolutely stunning. The box art pops. It is so distinctive that I could pick it out in the middle of a crowd. The box art screams, play me. Let me show you how horrifying I can really be. The signature letter and illustration style lends itself to the traditional 1930s horror blockbuster format and instills a real sense of anxiety and excitement that makes you question, oh man, what did I get myself into? The combination of different monsters can create a thrillingly unique experience where you might be able to raise the stakes on Dracula, or Frankenstein and his bride might be creating an unholy union in the middle of your murder fest, and then Maria could be Wolfman Chow soon, and all that together can really create a real nail-biting situation sometimes. With each monster that you defeat, you can hear an audible sigh of relief from everybody at the table, which is great. But this quickly becomes a problem because the game loses its murderous momentum with each step that you get closer and closer to victory. The horror genre, whether it be board games, movies, podcasts, what have you, all have one thing in common. They leave you shuddering on the edge of your seat up until the very end. This game, however, starts like your rock climbing Mount Everest at a 90 degree angle and then very quickly becomes a leisurely stroll in the Great Plains. The advancement tracks for defeating each of the monsters are fairly interesting and diverse. I love the theme of cracking the mummy's code and returning him to his tomb before any of the players get sent to their doom, or tracking down the crypts locations for Dracula so that you can prevent his resurrection. However, after two or three playthroughs of this, it starts to kind of feel like the same process. Pick up items, deliver them to a location, and then super smack a monster into next Halloween. In my game group, Horrified has been called Pandemic Season Spook, and the comparison isn't unfair. It is a light introduction to cooperative gaming and a great beginner game for young ghouls, Adams families, and those just entering the hobby. If you're looking for a similarly spooky but more challenging cooperative experience, I would suggest Arkham Horror, the LCG, or Mansions of Madness, second edition. 
Thank you so much for checking out the Cardboard Herald. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, all that, and have a spooky one. If you enjoyed this video, we have all kinds of other reviews, interviews, and recommendations via writing, podcasts, and video here on our channel and website CardboardHerald.com. Our content is audience supported, so if you want to show your support, please visit our Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Cardboard Herald.